To remove the grill with the sensor, all you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter socket and a flat head. This one's really easy to just pull those pins out. But first, let's disconnect the battery. Now, I'm just being extra precautious to uh, make sure there's no power going through the sensor, which I know there isn't. But just in case there's some issue with disconnecting the sensor, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, take it off. Now the first thing up top is these two 10 millimeter bolts. And then right next to the headlamp, we have these little pins. Just put a flat head in there, pop it up, and go ahead and pull that out. There's two of them, one on the passenger side and then one on the driver's side right here. Now you just want to slightly wiggle it off. You're also going to want to push this little pin in, just squeeze it. That disconnects the wire. Here's an electrical connector. On the bottom, you got to push really hard right here, and then it comes loose. You can see you got to push pretty hard to get that tab to move up. And then once that is done, once that is done, just slowly take it off, and voila. You have removed your front grill. There are a total of eight little screws that are all around this perimeter. And what that is doing is holding around that little um, chrome bezel. And so all you need to do is take those out. And then we're going to start working out the chrome clips. And then we'll be able to take the chrome bezel out. Now what you want to do is just slowly start pulling it out and working your way all the way around. Bottom part is pulled off. Now all we need to do is remove these plastic clips all the way around to take the grill off. 
If you've made it this far, you've realized that taking the grill off is gonna be a lot easier. These clips to squeeze with your thumb are a lot easier to squeeze. And just a quick tip, I would start on a end. And once you kind of get this clip through, just pull it down and have a little bit of tension for this one. And then, and then this one will pop through just a little bit and then have a little bit of tension on this one and pop through. And then maybe, and then I kind of stopped right there. And then there's this one hiding right over here. I started with that one and that one. And now this whole side, you can see, is like completely out. Like there's this inch gap right there. And so I'm just gonna work my way all the way over nice and carefully. So I'm not gonna break any of those fragile clips. Now the really exciting moment, we're gonna slowly take the housing off. It is off, I just need to disconnect the wires. Now, what's anchoring these two pieces together is three zip ties and three screws. I would try to do as minimal things to this radar sensor as possible to try to keep any issues from occurring. So, I'm gonna do as little as I can. I really wish I didn't have to cut these, but I do, and um, we're gonna take these three screws off. Now the sensor is completely loose in its housing. The only thing holding it down is those zip ties. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those very carefully because I don't wanna cut any wires. So now we can take all those wires out of the zip ties. And here is the sensor. You can go ahead and lift. And there is our old grill completely off with the sensor removed. 